Hey, hey, what's up, ladies and germs? It's your boy, Danny. I'm here to react to Amberlynn Reed's, uh, what is it, Season 2, Episode 7 at this point. Uh, how I feel about the comments, homemade trail mix, and scared to eat. So, uh, don't don't say anything about the uh, the suitcase back there. That's just where I hide my dead bodies, so don't worry about that. But, uh, yeah, let's uh, let's just get straight right into this. Hello, hello, welcome to... Hola, Fire como Girl. estas? So, just a quick update. By the way, if you hear noise, they're setting out mulch. And they're just doing a lot of Love that. outside stuff. So if you hear that, that's what Great that background noise. But um, updates, after I ended my vlog last night and I said that I was feeling better, it wasn't even 20 minutes later and I started feeling horrific, horrible pain. Um, oh, that's not good. I drank more tea. I was trying to like drink more oh. water. Amberlynn loves the tea. Trust after me. I had a heating pad on. I was laying on my side because... They said that helps with gallstone pain, etc., etc. I ended up going to bed like drastically earlier than usual because I wanted to force myself to sleep so I didn't have to feel the pain. That's how bad it was. My body was literally trying to protect me from the pain. And if you know me, you know it's impossible for me to fall asleep any earlier than what my body wants to go to sleep. And usually that's pretty late. So ugh, I woke up feeling so tired, you're tired. better. So I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed that. It's I don't know. I used to be able to wake up, or you know, do all nighters and stuff, but now it's like 8 p.m. and it's like, man, I'm tired as hell. You know, it's like being an adult sucks. Continue. So I just really quickly wanted to show you what I'm having for my first meal. It is a stir really fry good. that I made. I actually made it in yesterday's episode. So if you want to go back and watch that, you like can. if she makes that, she can literally make decent food. You know. Like, that, that literally, like, okay, if I literally went to, like, that's, like, Panda Express quality, okay? And now, that's, that's, like, a, you know, that's a compliment, because, like, I mean, it's not like, you know, if you make a burger, you say it's McDonald's quality, that's kind of an insult, but, I mean, like, Chinese food is actually kind of hard to make by yourself, you know, so. I mean, that, that's, that's, that's also implying that, you know, she didn't just take that out of a bag and then put it on the, you know, on the stove, but. And uh, broccoli, onion, zucchini, scallion, sriracha, kung pao sauce, a little bit of soy sauce, um, just all fresh from the earth. No, um, so I'm having that and uh, also my weigh-in. So after I binged two nights ago, I know I gained a few pounds. I didn't weigh myself though because I didn't want to know. But I weighed in today and I am back to where I was a couple days ago. So I was 485.8. So that means I have lost all of the binge water weight and the water retention, etc., etc. So And now if you were to weigh yourself weekly, all that stuff wouldn't have even mattered. Nothing. Wow. But yeah, I'm going to eat this. I hope you guys yeah, have don't a good say. Day. Um, again, keeping my fingers crossed that I keep feeling fine because I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little nervous to even eat because I'm afraid that I'm gonna start hurting. See, I, she says, I hope I'm feeling fine. That just shows you that her emotions control her. You know, it's like if if you even if you're feeling sad, if you really want to lose, you know, if you're really really uh, you know uh, uh, serious about losing weight, you will tell your emotions to shut up. You know what I mean? But she's just here saying, hopefully, hopefully I, I feel okay because, you know, if I don't feel okay, then I'll probably binge and, you know, it's, and so I need to you can't let your emotions control you. I am feeling better, so. Okay, so um, I'm about to have my next meal. I'm just having a cup of noodle, which is currently in the microwave. It has 30 seconds to go. And then I think I'm going to have like, I don't know, a few of these. They're lemon shortbread bites. I'm surprised so, that they're still in the house. Might have knowing her, knowing how, knowing you know how she reacted when she ate it. I'm surprised that they're still there. Because I mean, if I liked them that much, they would have been gone 20 minutes after I tried them. Three, four, five, six. This is you seven. know. Why not? Seven Why not? Is my second favorite though. number. I, I, I do still have trouble with temptations from time to time, but it is 100 percent better. Um, you know, it's it's easier to. It, it gets easier to say no uh, after time, you know. So I feel like maybe in five years I'll be able to, you know, say no a lot, uh, more to my temptations. But you know, probably sometimes like I I, I live near uh, I live in Chicago, so uh, one of my uh, 
One of my cheats is a, a, a chocolate cake shake. If you don't know what that is, look it up. I'm not going to ruin the surprise for you. Also, she has a lot of cat hair on her on her dress. She really needs to, you know, lint roller. Come on. The simplistic. Yeah, today hasn't been the greatest, like, mental health day for me. It sucks that I couldn't see my psychologist yesterday. I wish I could have, but... I thought sick. Jade was the best support you could want. All right, so I know you're not supposed to put it in the microwave, but I and there's ramen it. again. Why am I gonna change now? What would be the point? Yummy Pepper. salt water. Peppa? Wait, what? Oh, back here. I like to add tons of Peppa, and then. I know it's already salty, but I do like to have a little stop salt moment. Stop. So that is what I'm having right now. Why don't you just add garlic powder? Stop adding salt. Which are so Jeez, man. I really want that like delicious broth. And I like to make it like to where it's only in the microwave for like two minutes. So the noodles aren't like fully cooked. I mean, they are, but they're like. Al dente. That's the word you're looking for. Just still, still a little hard. Al dente. <laughs> what? How did I get the food set? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so for the next meal, I order food. If it looks like I've been crying, I have to. If it's a KFC bowl, I'm going to throw my computer out the window. It's been a day. Please no. Twinkie. I she swear. It's just me. She thinks she's a. She thinks she's if a. If I see that, dog. if I see that goddamn white man on that fucking bag, I swear. It's so weird. This is supposed to like automatically. The freaking kernel, I swear if I see it. Okay. What in the world? Does <laughs> I don't know this focus situation. Cam didn't like that. Not it for me. But anyways. Okay. We got from this place called BJ's. Okay, good. It's so good. It has like the best salmon ever. Nine times out of ten. That is what I get from there. My girlfriend got ribs. Oh my god, their ribs are so good. Their root beer ribs. Oh, that smells amazing. Babe. That looks good, but that's like five ribs. How much did you pay for that? Amber, like how much did you ribs. pay for that? That's like five ribs. She probably paid like 15 bucks for that. Uh, Why? That's not that worth amazing. it at all. Babe, the food's here. And then I get their salmon. What did you get? Three slices of salmon? It comes with rice. It's just salmon and rice. But no I really veggies? like their mashed potatoes. So I also get some of their mashed, their mashed taters. I'm going to go give my girlfriend her food. I'll be right back. Baby, do you need a fork or anything? It's ribs. Who eats ribs so with a fork? I salmon every single time. I mean, she had coleslaw, but still. I eat when I lived in Virginia, pretty much. But I remember I was at Texas Roadhouse one day, and I ordered their salmon, and it came back raw. I said no. So I'm not a Karen. I never send back my food, but I was like so grossed out that I. If it, it's not being a Karen to order, you know, like not get what you order, that's not being a Karen. You know, it's like if, if I if I order a salmon from a restaurant, I, I want it cooked. And if it's not cooked, I'm sending it back because that's not what I wanted. Or it's not what I paid for. I didn't even want it, like, in front of me. And it's like I just paid for it. Salmon's super expensive. So I decided to say something. Now, if you're saying that you you deserve a free meal for that, that would 100% be Karen. That, that's that's so straight out of the, you know, Karen playbook. We'll cook it longer. And I was like, oh, okay, thank you. Like, I was so appreciative and I felt bad. They brought it back and it was still raw. So, I got scarred from salmon for years. Like when it came to like ordering it from restaurants, thankfully. 
It's no longer like that. So good. And I always eat the middle of my salmon first and then the out part. This is so quirky. Mm. Don't say that. That Oh my god, that and was so cringe. Oh my god. Unmatched. So I'm gonna go eat this. And then got some napkins. Twinkie is staring at me so pitiful. Come here, baby girl. You want a taco? You want a taco? I'm gonna give her some shredded carrots. Some shredded carrots. Yeah. She's already ate. But it's just a dog. It's just a little dog who loves foods. So there's a few carrots. Look at this one now. Ready? Twinkie, is that too healthy for you? <laughs> she usually eats them, but I think she smells the salmon. She's like, damn. This is what they got me. Mother Nature's poo poo's in the kitchen. Look at Rarity. You can't eat carrots. <laughs> Okay, so I think we're gonna have a movie night, which we never have because we're not like movie people, but what makes it worse is our attention span. For me, I feel like that's probably why. Do you wanna try to find a movie on Netflix or Hulu? Yes. Okay, so I'm just gonna write the word alien because we wanna watch a horror movie, but she's afraid of ghosts. Am I allowed to tell them that? Oh no, no, we got her, boys. We got her. We can get. We get. We know a hundred percent about her now because she's afraid of ghosts. That that puzzle piece straight Can't into even the puzzle. Say the word. I'm sorry. Uh, she's like terrified in real life because she believes in ghosts. Do you? Oh, Ghost sorry. Oh my god. Sorry. I'm sorry. Wait. We should have a. I should. Okay. We're gonna have a code word. We're gonna call it. Oogie boogies. I'm more scared of that word. Like, can you imagine an oogie boogie watching you while you're sleeping? Why? Why would you say that? Okay, so I'm gonna put in I actually aliens. like oogie boogie. She said the options were aliens or like slasher killer type of stuff. I don't want to watch killer type of stuff. I'd rather watch an alien moment. I mean, I'd rather watch where aliens boogies, kill people. But there's a literal movie called Alien. Yeah. No, I'm not feeling that, though. Wait, let me go to Netflix and type that in. Because it'll only show movies with the title. title Alien. But on Netflix, if you type in Alien, it'll show you movies that have aliens, I think. I don't know. Honestly, we were going to go to... Um... Whose woman? Is that your mom? Oh, is this on your Netflix? Yeah, it says... It says Alex woman. Yeah. What is the surprise me button? It just plays something. <gasps> Wait, I'm gonna press surprise me. So quirky. Wait, what? Oh, it's playing Stranger Things, which I've never seen. We gotta go back to the beginning. You can't start it. Too. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna watch that by myself. Are you serious? Baby, you work all the time. When am I gonna have time? Baby, I'm trying to. Can we? Shit's crazy. Like from the beginning. Oh yeah, we can do that. Okay, I'm typing aliens. See, this is what I'm talking about. All right. Oh my god, I'm so blind. Dark skies. Have you seen that? I've seen it like ten times. We started watching it. Oh, see, we start watching stuff and then never finish it. I. So. What am I? What am I supposed to comment here? It's just sort of looking up movies. I mean, literally the most the most entertaining thing is she, she said, oh my god, there's a movie called Alien? It's literally the most entertaining thing she said. It's like, what am I supposed to say? Well, okay, I have, okay. Some of my top favorite movies. Forrest Gump, 10 Things I Hate About You, Riding in Cars with Boys. Okay, those are top three. Wait, so what's Extinction? No. She couldn't name Ooh, a fourth movie? Is that Hitler? Come on. Can name a random what fourth movie? I'm trying to just look for a scary movie with no oogity boogities in it. Thank you. Plagued by dreams of an alien invasion. 
God. What does that say? How a long? family man faces his worst nightmare when an extra tourist oh, work. Uh, <laughs> another minute of this? Force begins. Extremely. Uh, yeah. <gasps> Wait, Sorry. This is literally seen, not about um, weight loss. It's just talking about movies. House? Sorry. Cloverfield? Can't be bothered. Oh, that's definitely not it. Okay, so we're going to try to find You can call me an asshole, but I, I literally can't be bothered. Hopefully. And then I'll let you know what she thinks of it. Okay, bye. Okay, so I'm about to create a little snack bag of snacks. I have no desire to snack that smile back. Yesterday, like feeling as sick as I did, but I do get snacky at night, nine times out of ten, and today is one of those nights. So I have quite a few snacks in my pantry. They're all quote unquote healthier snacks that aren't just fruit and veggies. Um, so I'm just gonna take a couple things, and decide what I want here. I'm gonna take two of these dark chocolate blueberries. They just look like this. I'm gonna have two of those. I think this is gonna help me a lot so I don't have to like think about snacks or anything just so I know this is all I'm allowing myself and then I'm gonna take a couple of these milk chocolate vanilla sea salt caramels um, there's like six there six or seven which is a less than a serving so love that for me I would take some of these milk chocolate sea salt caramel raisins, but I binged on them the other night and they made me massively sick, so they're not even remotely on my radar at all. I'm gonna have a couple more of these lemon shortbread bites. How I ate mine earlier is I just like sucked on them. <laughs> it was so good. So I'm just gonna have four of those. Which is also a goodie bag. under a serving. Like I'm just taking like a partial serving of each of these things. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure that that's at least one serving in that bag already. Um if you add them all together. I also binged on plantain chips the other night, but it's like they sound so good and I feel like I'm gonna want something salty. But I think instead I'm just gonna take some uh, cashews. Just a little bit. Not even a handful. That was a handful, was actually. It's kind of like a trail mix in a way. I almost wish I had some like dried mango or something. That'd be really good. There is dried apple. I think I got rid of it, baby. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. I used to have dried mango, but they were old. So this is dried apple. Ooh, I don't like how it smells. No, I'm okay, baby. This is what my girlfriend likes. It's like dried apple stuff. Um, what else? Is that good for the night? Yeah, I think that's good. That's me being reasonable with myself. Oh, and by the way, we didn't even watch the movie. <laughs> um, I rented it on... Um, so that was just a complete waste of time. On the YouTube, so we will watch it tomorrow. We got sidetracked. <laughs> I told you, we're bad with movies, but we have a good movie to watch. And by the way, it's called 10 Cloverfield Lane, and I've seen it quite a few times. I completely recommend it. Isn't that Coming that... Uh... someone who's pretty picky with movies. Definitely listen to me. When we got some Key and Peel made it. On that regard. I don't know if Baby, it's Keegan Michael Key or. Your little snack bag. Do you want me to put it in the pantry? You have to do, but. This is her cute little snack bag we have. Or Jordan Peel. I think it was Jordan Peel actually. Cashews and dried apples. She was gonna have that earlier, but she chose to have the ribs instead. Oh yeah. Yes, we're definitely gonna watch that movie tomorrow, and I'm gonna have to let you guys know what she thinks of it. Where'd I put my snacks? Oh, love that. This cat 
and wasabi obsessed with boxes <laughs> oh oh my god and i feel like the smaller the box the more they like it so she was laying in it but she also loves this spot so i put the box up here so it's like the best of both worlds look at that sweet angel <laughs> and she's also a little high on catnip <laughs> yeah this is the catnip we use she loves catnip so she gets a little of it a couple times a month we'll put it out for her um <laughs> Smarty cat catnip. <laughs> you love that stuff. You're crazy. You're so crazy. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. So you need a knock before you come into my home. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Who's home? Who's home? Oh. <laughs> Her little fat hanging. <laughs> oh my gosh. She puts the biggest smile on my face. Look at this. <laughs> oh my gosh. You gotta be kidding me. So sweet. She just can't twist enough, can she? Okay, you guys. So it's the end of the night. I was hardcore cuddling with my fur babies. So that's what that is. You know, I'm never ashamed of having some... Free. Yeah, that, that that was just on there just right now. It hasn't been on there the entire episode. No, no you're good. You're good, girl. Don't worry. Fur on me. Because that just means they're loved and I'm loved. That's all it is. Um, sometimes it don't look that great when you're going out in public. If I'm just chilling around the house, I really can't say that I care too much. Um, it's been a couple hours since I saw you guys. I still have not ate any of these. But I'm sitting at my desk editing um i have thoroughly been enjoying these episodes um the video that i just scheduled to go up is 30 minutes long ma'am originally when i imported the footage it was 42 minutes and i said did I make a mistake? Did I import like triple videos that I didn't mean to? Like I was so confused. I was like, how is this so long? Um, it's just because vulnerability, transparency, open you guys up a little bit to my life. Um, I'm no longer giving an actual shit. <laughs> what people think of me. Why am I, I, I need to get a new I chair. I what I want to. I'm talking about what I want to talk about. And if no one watches, fine. I'll go find another job. <laughs> but I don't know. I thoroughly am enjoying What, is she a comedian now? Content, you know, because I'm getting All of to a talk sudden? about serious issues while also talking about, you know, willy-nilly things like movies. You know, it's just, it's nice to be able to, to do that again. And I think a big part of it is I am not reading comments at all. None currently who knows what i'm gonna do in the future but in the future that's been, that's been really nice for me and it leaves me with a clear level head of just doing what i want and if people watch it i'm grateful 100 percent grateful more than 100 percent. can you be more than 100 percent of something yes if you can then i am that for you guys i'm just grateful and i'm thankful for those who are watching and enjoying this type of content you know it's bittersweet not reading comments because it like leaves me with a clearer head because the comments it's torture the comments are torture for me i'm gonna be honest um but it's also kind of why don't you try and like, prove them wrong i don't know if you guys are enjoying this content i i have no idea what you guys are thinking of this i don't i have no idea um i don't even get messages on instagram or snapchat anymore i have um, my messages turned off so if you guys ever try to talk to me on there um i don't get the messages because it's just the hate online has been so bad that i really really think that it's messing with me and if there's some way that i can fix it by not reading that stuff then i'm gonna do it um i hope you can fix it by being serious about your weight loss but you know depending on your track right now i don't think that's gonna happen 
the community Just being surrounding honest. the channel won't be as bad. I expect hate always. That's just how it is. Everyone gets hate. But I just think to scroll through my comments and not see a single positive thing is just, it's hard for me. So I, I think that by me not reading the comments and by me just kind of ignoring the bullshit, if you will, has helped me a lot with this. And I want to continue down this path. You know, it's hard because like there are certain things that I talk about and share like how hardcore I binged the other night or like how but sick I was yesterday because my gallstones, you know, gives you accountability, etc. Et like those are things that I just wouldn't talk about. Um, like if, if you want, if you need help quitting something, um, go ask your friends, go ask your parents, go ask your family members, go ask someone to, you know, give you shit. If you, you know, go against your words, because the more accountability you have, the more people that, you have to, um, you know, under, you know, behind your back and, you know, for you to, uh, for you to, you know, either, you know, make proud or whatever. It's like, it, it's a lot more weight. Yeah. But you have to use that to your advantage and you just have to, you know, cause I don't know, like, like, I don't know what word is, but the, uh, like the satisfaction you'll get from, you know, like the acceptance, I guess you could say, or the praise would be, you know, 10 times better. Just like, you know, like if you binge, you know, you feel, you feel really good in that moment. But, you know, after that, you feel 10 times worse. It's like the opposite of that. You know, and I've been showing you guys literally everything that I'm eating. Is it boring to you guys? I hope not. But um, regardless, I, uh, I'm enjoying it. And I think that's what matters because I wake up every day and I'm excited to film. I'm excited that's to film. Great. And that feels really good to be excited to not only film, but also be excited to edit and to upload and just like the whole nine yards. I thoroughly have been enjoying that and I hope you guys have been as well. But I'm going to end this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. All right, well, since she's ending it, uh, if you like this video, make sure to uh, like the video, subscribe, uh, comment down below uh, some uh, recommendations on what I should react to. Um, but yeah, uh, so also uh, follow my uh, Twitter um, in the description for updates on my weight loss and uh, and um, my YouTube channel. So um, yeah, I'm going to be going on vacation soon. So uh, what you're going to be seeing for the next week and a half is going to be pre-recorded. So, um, so yeah, just keep that in mind. Um, I'll try and... Uh, you know, keep posting. Maybe I'll post small videos. Um, and then I was planning on posting like a large vlog, I guess you could say. But maybe I'll upload it during the week. I don't know. It depends on what my internet connection situation is up there. So, uh, yeah. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Hope you enjoy the video.